Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you about the second chapter in 10th class that is sets. Okay. Uh, today I will give the introduction part of the sets and then I will explain all the exercises in this chapter. Uh, now first of all I want to introduce what is sets and how many types it was and how we have to calculate the sums in this chapter. Okay. Uh, firstly I will explain the introduction part of the sets. So dear students, in your textbook, in the first page he was given uh, a picture that is teeth, the set of teeth that is already we know that uh, that is there are uh, 32 teeth we have. Uh, so firstly he, he said here is mathematics is full of problems only? No. It's, it is one of the beautiful subject which deals with numbers. So sets is very easiest chapter for you to learn this. And uh, you it was just like a game. Uh, you will enjoy it very much while you are doing the sums in this chapter. And uh, while you are listening this chapter you will enjoy it very much. So students. Uh, so let's start our enjoyment with this chapter that is sets here here we have a uh, total 32 teeth we have uh, there are already we know that there are four kinds of uh, teeth that is incisors canines premolars smallers just like that okay so this all uh, uh, incisors canines premolars and molars we have that is uh, we have a teeth formula right that is two one two three here here it was given that is two one two three that is teeth formula mm, so two incisors one canine two premolars three molars that we have in the upper and lower uh, uh, it is divided as a teeth right so now uh, totally we have 32 teeth so total all types of teeth we call it as a set of teeth set of teeth so here uh, the, there are four types of teeth but all belongs to same common feature all the four uh, types of teeth it belongs to same common feature and property that is teeth that is same common property is teeth that's why we called it as a set so set is a well defined collection well defined collection so here I am going to give the introduction part of this chapter that is from notes. So uh, you just uh, firstly uh, you just make the notes perfectly to understand this chapter. Okay, let's start our notes. So the first point that is a set theory is developed by George Cantor. George Cantor he developed this set theory. And then what is sets? What is sets? That is well defined collection of objects. Well defined collection of objects. It means the objects in the set should common feature or property. All the objects in the set should common feature or property. And it should be possible whether any given object belongs to the set or not whether any object any object it is possible to give that that object it belongs to the set or not okay give so a given set of objects we are in the position to distinguish firstly uh, if we have any objects so we have to distinguish that objects like a set in just like a set okay distinguish the objects in the set from uh, those that are not in a set which the objects belongs to the set or which the objects which does not belongs to the set that has to be distinguished by us okay that way such a set is said to be well defined set that set is said to be well defined set so it is a definition for the set a set is a well defined collection of objects it is a definition for the set we use capital letters to identify a set. Okay, set 
uh, just like uh, one set is identified with with the capital letters that is capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D, just like that. Okay, uh, up to Z you can use any capital letter for a, for the identification of uh, uh, the set. Okay, lower case letters like a small a, small b, small c, small d, just like that, and any objects, whatever you want, the objects uh, we can use in a sets or use to identify denote with the elements elements set is identified with capital letters and in the set what the objects you have that we can identify it as elements of a set the set of all natural numbers it is one of the example for you already you know uh, in your lower classes uh, it is very familiar to you that is the set of all natural numbers is denoted capital N right it is capital letter is de denoted with a set right denoted like a set so here the capital N is identified just like all the natural numbers you know well right and denoted as N is equal to 1 2 3 and so on the natural numbers which starts from 1 2 3 and so on the last letter, letter or what the element in the uh, in this set the last element we don't know right that is infinity that is not defined right so the set of all whole numbers the set of all whole numbers is denoted with capital W and defined as capital W is equal to including this 1 2 3 and so on including this 0 that is that is the set of whole numbers okay natural numbers and zero natural numbers union zero both we called as whole numbers and the set of integers it is denoted by z or capital i here look at here capital n capital w and z or i these all are capital letters it is identified for a set so that is equal to minus and and so on so on so on minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and so on all the negative numbers 0 and all the positive numbers that we call as integers that is identified with capital Z or I the set of rational numbers is identified and denoted with Q Q the set of irrational numbers is denoted with Q or S. Okay, what do you what do you call these rational numbers? Rational numbers is in the form of P by Q, right? In the first chapter of your tenth textbook, that is real numbers, you have this uh, definition of these rational numbers. That is, the rational numbers is identified with just like P by Q form, and Q is not equal to zero, and P comma Q or integers. That is P by Q form. And irrational numbers means it is not in the P by Q form. Right? So, irrational numbers is identified with Q and irrational numbers is identified with Q or S. The set of all real numbers. This real numbers is the name of your first chapter. That is real numbers is denoted with capital R. These all are capital letters. These all are capital letters. That, that is taken for the set set of some numbers so capital Q means rational numbers U ikada U it is U U means union it means union union means all the rational numbers and irrational numbers together we have real numbers all the rational and irrational numbers together we called that is real numbers so next point uh, that I'll explain about the belongs to and does not belongs to mm, we use a symbol just like this that is just like C and like this okay that is that is belongs to belongs to belongs to and does not belongs to just strike off that symbol that is 
does not belongs to it is a symbol for the does not belongs to okay in between uh, element and a set so for example a is equal to set of set is curly brackets that is set of 1 2 3 4 and 4 that's it in a set a we have four elements in the set a we have four elements and here we use this belongs to symbol just like this one is belongs to a means one is in the set of a two is belongs to a means two is in the set of a three belongs to a just like this okay but five is not belongs to a is the five is a, a element in this a no so hence five is not belongs to a is p is belongs to a no is there any p element is there in the a no right p is does not belongs to a so here we have uh, uh, describing a set how we can identify a set in a different manners right the first one that is roster form or listed form what do you mean by this roster form or listed form means how can we write this set in different patterns that is in order to define a set all the numbers of the set or written in the row separated by commas and then enclosed in brackets so all the elements which is belongs to the set uh, is separated by using of this commas just like 1 comma 2 3 4 uh, just like that okay we can use this commas and enclosed in a brackets or in this form all the elements in a set are written uh, written separated by commas within curly brackets whatever it was whatever it was it these two um, you can write any definition for this roster form or listed form okay for example a is equal to curly brackets look at here we can use this curly brackets right so a is equal to curly brackets 2 4 6 and so on up to um, the 50 or 60 uh, so here the elements we have all the elements we separated by using of this commas look at here right just like this and the second example it was that is b is equal to a comma e comma i o u just like all the elements is separated by using of this commas right these two are the examples i am giving here for the roster form or the listed form and the second type uh, the set we can write in the set builder form set builder form so describe uh, to describe a set by some property common to all its elements uh, already i said no the set it includes a common feature and a property that common feature or a property we can write it in the form of a uh, letter that is x we can that is look at here we use arbitrary letter say x to denote which represents every element of a of that set that is bx for example um, b is equal to 1 3 5 7 and so on up to 19 what kind of these numbers that is odd numbers right up to where that is 90 up to 90 the uh, odd numbers which start from 1 3 5 and up to that is 19 how can we write this uh, listed form into the set builder form right look at here so that is set builder form is for this odd numbers that is x colon x x is an element but what is the real uh, numbers have a same common feature that is odd number right the common feature is x colon x is a odd number that is x is less than or equal to means 19 is also there in the set here the 19 is also there in the set hence we can write this as x is less than or equal to 19 this kind of sets we call it as a set builder form set builder form if the if you write uh, 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 and so on up to 19 just like numbers that is 
uh, that kind of sets we call it as a roster form or registered form and the common feature we can write by using of this x we call it as a, a set builder form that is set builder form x is equal to uh, a is equal to x colon x is an even and x is less than or equal to 12. So look at here. So uh, we can write this set builder form is also in the roster form just like this. Even number means what is even numbers? Even numbers means 2, 4, 6 and so on right up to where less than or equal to 12 means 12 also we can write means a is equal to 2 4 6 8 10 12 it is a set of a right by using of the set builder form we can convert into a listed form and by using of this listed form we can convert into the set builder form i think you can understand this two distinct uh, describing of the sets so set builder form that is one or one more example i am giving here that is a is equal to 2x colon x is belongs to n and uh, x is less than or equal to 6 you just tried uh, to change this uh, into roster form okay and now uh, while representing a set the repeated elements must be written once means all the elements must be enclosed in curly brackets itself and the repeated element should be write only once okay just like i am giving here the example for you that is a is equal to 4 comma 1 2 3 1 4 8 here in this set uh, the repeated elements is there here right that is 4 and 1 these two are repeated so the 4 has to be right uh, in the set only once and 1 also should be right only once that is written as a is equal to 1 2 3 4 8 just the repeater elements should be uh, you you just mentioned only once in a set okay and the types of sets i am explaining here that is the uh, first one is that is null set null set or empty set or void set whatever you want i just um, mentioned that name uh, that that is null set and empty set or void set a set with no elements in it the ele uh, the in a set there is no elements in a set okay uh, so the null set or is called a null set or empty set or void set it is denoted with empty set like this or five okay these two are the symbols so five is the letter derived from danish and norwegian alphabets okay this this symbol is derived from this danish and norwegian alphabets therefore phi can be written like this there are two curly brackets there is no elements in a set that we call it as a null set okay null set so a set which does not contain any element is called an empty set or null set or void set it is denoted by the symbol of this one and all and also you can write these curly brackets without any elements like this okay so here note you just remind this all for examples you just you just look after here this empty set it is an null set but zero in the second set look at here there is a zero zero is an element zero is an element these two are not equal empty set it is empty set there is no elements but in this set there is a zero is an element that's why these two are not equal sets here phi phi means just like this null set null set itself it is a symbol right it is a symbol for null set is not equal to this set this set which, con which contains zero so here zero is not equal to null set why because zero is a 
set right capital letter zero is a set so is not equal to empty set so in this set fourth example there is phi is an element in the set phi is an element in the set but here phi is an empty set there is no elements in the set these two are not equal these uh, four examples you just once recollect and uh, thoroughly you just remind it okay and next next type of the set that is singleton set singleton set a set with only one element in it is called singleton set a set with only one element is called singleton set examples set of all even prime numbers all even even means 2 4 6 8 just like this right and prime numbers prime numbers means 2 3 5 7 just like this the prime numbers which has only the only there are two factors by one and by itself that kind of numbers we call it as prime numbers so even prime means even numbers in the even numbers we have two four six just like prime numbers two three seven five okay so in these two sets we have two is the common number that's why the set of all even prime numbers is equal to two so in this set only we have only one element that is two that's why this kind of sets we called as single ton sets. Next, in the second example, look at here, in the curl bracket, 0 is there. How many elements in the curl brackets? Only one. That is 0. Here is an example for the single set with element 0. In the third example, in the curl brackets, there is 5. There is an element. In the curl brackets, there is an element that is phi. Is a set with only one element that is phi and is called a singleton set. Here, next finite set. Students, while I am explaining this uh, notes, you just make your notes in a perfect manner. Okay, to understand uh, in the simple way, you just write these all the notes in your. Um, or make your notes perfectly okay uh, so the next type of this set is finite set a set having countable numbers a finite means infinite means there is there are so many elements finite means countable okay we can count how many numbers is present in this sets so a set having countable numbers of elements is called finite set example set of all ovals in an alphabets already we all know about the what are the ovals in the alphabets in the english alphabets that is a e i o u right that is a is equal to ovals english alphabets that is a e i o u these are the elements which is present in the set a how many elements present in this set only five right we can count we can count how many elements we can uh, present in the set we, if we can if we can count that kind of sets is called finite sets okay so the set of all even numbers less than 50 all the even numbers less than 50 less than 50 means we can write all the numbers in this even numbers right that is b is equal to 2 4 6 8 10 just like this up to 50 we can write all the numbers and we can count all the numbers in this set hence hence this is a example for the finite set and we can go to the next next set next type of set that is infinite set a set having uncountable numbers of elements is called infinite set uncountable uncountable means there are so many we can't count that elements present in this element in sets right example set of all natural numbers how many natural numbers is present we can't count what is the last natural number 
it is not identified right that is infinite infinite that is n is equal to capital n is equal to 1 2 3 4 and so on so on so it is example for the infinite set next set of all prime numbers so p is equal to already i said now right p is equal to 2 3 5 7 and so on this uh, this prime numbers means only these numbers uh, can multiple there, there are only the factors of 1 by and itself here i am giving the some examples for this finite and infinite sets right so w is a set of all days in a week here the w is all days in a week means sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday or saturday right these are the days of a week so w is a finite how many days seven days seven we can count so it is finite set it is finite set okay g is a set of all points on a line so the line which moves which goes on right how many points we can point out here so many points so many points so g is a infinite set okay mm, the next type of this sets is equality of sets equality of sets means if we have any two sets if we have any two sets so two sets that is let us assume that uh, a and b are equal if and only if every element in a belongs to b and every element in b belongs to a okay every element should be equal in both the sets means here i am giving the example look at here so look at here here i am giving the example for you that is a is equal to pqrs in that set a there are four elements that is pqrs and look at the b set that is b is equal to qprs means here all the elements in a and b are equal p is there in both the sets q is there r is there s yes is there these two are a is equal to b means the two sets have equal elements hence these two are the example for the equality of sets here a is equal to b right in the first example look at the example for the second that is a is equal to 1 3 4 5 6 and b is equal to 6 9 10 is the elements are same in both of these two elements two sets that is a in a is equal to b no right uh, no elements are uh, same in these both two sets here a is not equal to b the next one the next definition in the sets that is cardinal number of a set cardinal number of a set the number of elements in a set is called the cardinal number of a set the number of elements in a set is called the number of elements in a set is called cardinal number of a set means for example if a is equal to 2 3 5 9 10 how many elements are there 2 3 5 9 7 how many elements 9 5 then n of cardinal number is identified with n of a n of a so n of a is equal to 5 okay so cardinal number is identified like this so it is a set a so n of a is equal to 5 number of anartham okay so here if a is a set then its cardinal number is represented as n of a note that I just identified this the cardinal number of a null set is 0 for a null set what do you mean by this null set null set means empty set there is no elements in your set so what is the cardinal number for this null set 0 so n of 5 is equal to 0 a is equal to x colon x is not belongs to not equal to x x is not equal to x then n of a is equal to also 0 so if you can write this set as a set builder form x is not equal to x means there is no elements in a set the meaning of this is x is not equal to x means there is no elements so n hence uh, n of a is equal to 0 to find the cardinal number of any set the set should be 
define it if the if you want to know about the cardinal number of a set the set should be finite not an infinite if if any set have infinite infinite elements then what is the cardinal number we can't find out right we can't count hence the set should be finite then only we have this cardinal number the next here what do you mean by the set subset and superset right already i said about this definition of the set uh, in the starting so that is well defined uh, collection well defined collection is called set and about this subset and superset i am explaining now uh, so here a set a a is a sub a is a subset of set b if and only if if and often if and only if every element of a is also an element of b is also an element of b every element in set a is uh, also have in b that is denoted with the letter that is a is subset of b like this a is subset of b here i am giving the example for this that is a is equal to 7 8 9 7 8 9 uh, in the set A, 7, 8, 9 are the elements of A. Here B set have a 3, 7, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9. These are the elements of B. So here A have a 7 and B is also have 7. 8 is there here on both the sets and 9 is also there in the both the sets. Hence A is a subset of B. A is a subset of B. But a is not equal to B. Equal to B means all the elements in both the sets has to be same. Here in the B set have more than the elements of A. Right. The hence it is not equal to B. Here B is the superset of A. Superset means all the elements of this A is belongs to B. But B have more elements than A. Hence, B is the superset of A. It is denoted with this, like this. Okay. Here B is a superset of A. I think you can understand this subset and superset by using of this example. I will give some more examples. So, here in the second example, A is equal to 7, 8, 9 and B is equal to 8, 9, 7. Here, look at here all the elements in both A and B sets have same right hence A is equal to B and also we can write it as A is subset of B and B is also a subset of A right A is subset of B yeah, yes yes it was correct why because all the elements in A is belongs to B and also B is belongs to A yes it is also correct why because all the elements in B, ha B belongs to A Hence, both the elements are, both the sets are equal sets and also A is belongs to B and B is a subset of, A is subset of B and B is subset of A. Right? So, here A set, A is a superset of B. Superset of B which is identified just like this. It is represented by A is a superset of if A is subs B is subset of A and A is subset of B, then A is equal to B. Means all the elements in B belongs to A and all the elements in A belongs to B. These two are both the subsets for each other. Hence, these two are equal sets. So, note. It's just important. It was uh, just remind it very carefully. Every set is a subset of itself. Every set. A belongs to A. The set, it is subset of itself. Right? The second one, empty set, is a subset of every set. Empty set is a subset of every set. Every set. For every set, there is a common subset that is itself and null set. Right? And the third point, already I said about this. So, A is belongs to, A is subset of B and B is subset of A means, then A is equal to B. These two are equal sets. Then only, 
ए ए सबसेट ऑफ बी एंड बी ए सबसेट ऑफ ए राइट द नेक्स्ट वन इफ देर आर दिस दिस फॉर्मूले इट इज वन ऑफ द फॉर्मूला इट गिवस द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सबसेट्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ सबसेट हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ सबसेट्स वी कैन राइट फॉर ए सेट it is a formula it is a formula which is used to find the number of subsets for a set look at here if there are n elements in a set means the number of elements means number of elements n elements in a set then the number of subsets of that set is 2 to the power of n so here in this given example a is equal to 7 8 9 then uh, how to find out this number of subsets subsets so number of subsets is equal to already i said no this is exam this is the formula for this number of subsets right to find out the number of sets uh, subsets we can um use this 2 to the power of n is a formula right 2 to the power of n that is equal to how many number of elements 3 2 to the power of n that is equal to 2 to the power of 3 means 2 3 times that is 2 to the 4 4 to 8 8 number of subsets how can we write this number of subsets i'll show here look at here okay so that is a is equal to 7 8 9 so how can we write this number of subsets for this already i said in the note every set is a subset of itself so the first number of subsets number of subsets formula Two to the power of n. So n means number of elements. Three number of elements. That is two to the power of three. That is equal to two into two into two. That is equal to eight subsets. Okay. So the first one you have to remind that every set is a subset of itself. right so the first subset is that is 7 8 9 first subset the first one okay second empty set is a subset of every set so the second one is 5 that is this one empty set here already two subsets i wrote here so remaining 6 is there so first single sets single ton sets means in the set a 7 8 9 single elements so 7 only fourth Eight, fifth, nine. These three are the subsets of this set. So, next double numbers. Double numbers means so seven, eight. Next, eight, nine. Next, nine, seven. so total how many subsets is there eight eight these all are the eight or the subsets of this a right i think you understand this topic right subsets subsets number of subsets how can we write first you have to remind every set is a subset of itself empty set is a subset of itself every set and single set single ton sets and then double if you have four elements in this you can you you also write this triplets also right okay now it's time to explain this power set what do you mean by this power set right a set consisting of all subsets already we wrote here uh, subsets of this set right if you write this all the subsets all the eight subsets in a set then it is a power set understood 
if you write all the subsets all the subsets means what I said the set itself is a subset empty set singleton sets double element sets triple element just like this okay all the subsets you can write in a one set that is power set a set consisting of all subsets of a given set is called power set if a is a set then its power set is denoted by p of a is denoted by p of a and example a is equal to ab how many elements is there two a p how many subsets we have four why because 2 to the power of n 2 to the power of 2 4 4 subsets what are the power, 4 power subsets one it is empty set and another itself is is a subset of itself so next is singleton sets so a b all the four subsets you can write in a single set the set of all subsets of this set is called power set so next uh, the power set means the set of all subsets of a set is called power set the number of elements of a power or 2 to the power of n so n of cardinal number of this power set is n of p of a is equal to 2 to the power of n so 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 2 that is equal to 4 4 elements 4 elements so next uh, if a set contains n elements then its power set contains 2 to the power of n elements 2 to the power of n elements so for example a is equal to 3 4 p of a is equal to all the subsets you can write in a one single set all the subsets so n of p of a is equal to 2 to the power of n n is equal to 3 n is equal to here 3 how many elements present in this power set 2 to the power of 3 that is equal to 8 definition next definition is universal set all the sets under consideration all the sets under consideration will be subsets of a fixed set will be fixed subsets of a fixed set is called universal set it is denoted by the letters u or mu like this these all are the symbols of this universal sets okay then the next topic is Venn diagrams so the sets uh, we can solve these sums um, by using of this Venn diagrams also so here we use simple closed figures or represented sets represented as sets okay these are used first by John Venn in 1880, an English mathematician and also used by Leonard Euler, a great Swiss mathematician are called Van Euler diagrams. Van Euler diagrams. Okay. For example, this closed figures we can draw like circles, ovals or triangles, anyone, whatever you want, you choose uh, to draw these Venn diagrams, you can choose any of this symbol, okay, circles, ovals and triangles. Here I am giving some examples of this Venn diagrams that is universal set, we can draw like this, just like a rectangular boxes. Um, universal set A is subset of mu means all the elements of this A is belongs to universal set like this in a rectangular box that is universal set A is there instead of this universal set here one more example here that is A is belongs to B A is subset of B and B is subset of C means A is a smaller a is a smaller set of all remaining a is subset subset means every element of a is belongs to b 
every element of this A and B belongs to C. So every elements of this all A, B, C belongs to universal set. Next example A is subset of B just like this is itself. A is all the elements in A. A belongs to B means hence hence it is A is subset of B. This A and B is subset both or the set subsets of universal sets. And it is finally we have the number system by using of this Venn diagram. Natural numbers you know that that is 1, 2, 3. It starts from 1 and ends with so many right. We can't count. So including 0 with the natural numbers including 0 that is whole numbers. All the positive numbers, negative numbers including 0 is called integers. The numbers which is in the form of p by q means we can write these natural numbers, whole numbers and integers also in the form of p by q means 1 by 2, 2 by 1, 3 by 1 just like this minus, minus 10 by 2 just like this we can write all the numbers in p by q form that is rational numbers irrational numbers it is different so subset all the all the sets is belongs to universal set that is real numbers that is real numbers for all kinds of numbers what is a universal set that is real numbers our next topic is union of sets union of sets means union of two sets a and b is a set of all elements of a together with all the elements of b and we read as a union p a union p means all the elements a union b how to find out this a union b that is all the elements in both a and b should be right in only one set that is a union b contains all the elements which are either in a or b in both okay that is example for example a is equal to 1 2 3 4 a is equal to 1 2 3 4 b is equal to 3 4 5 okay a union b means 1 2 3 4 union 3 4 5 all the elements you have to write in this a union b set but already i said no the repeated numbers should be right only at once so 1 2 3 in both the sets 3 is there so you have to write only once so 4 4 you have to write it once 5 so a union b all the elements belongs both of these sets has to be right here a union b so that set builder form of a union b is equal to x colon x belongs to a and x belongs to b a union b is equal to x colon x belongs to a and x colon x belongs to b okay next venn diagram of a union b venn diagram of a union b means um, when in the venn diagram we can write all the elements in both a and b right so all the elements should be marked like this shade like this a is equal to these lines this kind so a union b and all the elements should be right in this a union b set like this you have to draw the venn diagram for a union b next after this union of sets we have the next topic that is intersection of sets so intersection of sets means so look at here intersection of sets the intersection of two sets a and b is a set of all those elements which belong to both a and b the elements which belongs to both a and b we denoted this intersection as like this a intersection b a intersection b so a is equal to 1 2 3 4 b is equal to 3 4 5 a intersection B means in both the sets what are the common elements 3 and 4 only both the sets we have common elements are 3 and 4 that is 
A intersection B. The set of A intersection B is equal to set of 3 and 4. The Venn diagram for this is just like this. So it is Venn diagram for A intersection B. So in the elements, in the elements of A is identified like this and the elements of B is just like this. The vertical lines and the horizontal lines. Both the lines we we gave this cross lines, crossed lines. The, um, the common elements of this A and B is identified just like this boxes. A intersection B. Like this. Okay. Joint sets. What do you mean by this disjoint? Disjoint sets means two sets of A and B are disjoint if they have no common elements. No common elements. There is a, a, it is opposite to equal sets. No element is equal for both the sets. Here in the given example A is equal to 1, 2, 3. B is equal to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No element is there in the both the sets. No element is equal in both the sets. Same in both the sets. A intersection B is equal to 5. Means there is no common elements in both of these sets. This kind of sets we call it as a disjoint sets. This kind of sets we call it as disjoint sets. So A and B are disjoint. Then A, N of cardinal number. Cardinal number means number of elements in A intersection B is equal to 0. A union phi is equal to. These are the formulas I am giving here from here. So A union phi is equal to A. Means in the set A if you have 1 to union. Phi means null set. The union of these two sets which gives the same answer which belongs to A. These all are the formulas in sets A. A union A is equal to A. A intersection A is equal to A. A intersection phi is equal to phi. Commutative law. A union B is equal to B union A. And A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. This, these two formulas which we called as commutative law in sets. Associative law. A union B. A union of B union C is equal to A union B union C. And A intersection of B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. These two formulas are, we call it as associative law in sets. Phi is the identity set under union of sets. Phi means null set. Mu is the identity set under intersection of sets. Union of sets, the identity of the sets is phi. And for the intersection, the identity is mu. Item pointed law. That is, A union A is equal to A. A intersection A is also equal to A. Okay. This, this laws, these two formulas, we call it as idempotent law. So, it is one of the formulas. That is, A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C. Just like this. A intersection B, U, B, in, A intersection B union C. We can write it as A intersection B union A intersection C. Like this. Right? Differences of the sets. The difference of the sets A and B is a set of elements which belong to A but do not belong to B. That is denoted with by the formula like this A minus B or A minus B. A minus B. Example, A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. B is equal to 2, 4, 6. A minus B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 2, 4, 6. It just strike off the elements which belongs to B. You just minus this B elements from A. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which element is there in B? 4. You just strike off this one. And don't write this B elements. Right? 
2 4 2 you just strike of it 4 you just strike of it so after striking these two elements how many elements remain here 1 comma 3 that is a minus b okay the set builder form for this a minus b is equal to x colon x belongs to a and x does not belongs to b x belongs to a and x does not belongs to b if a is belongs to b then a minus b is equal to 5 we just take one example so of the sets a is subset of b then you will get a minus b is equal to 5 if you can take a intersection b is equal to 5 then a minus b is equal to a so it is one of the formula in the differentiating of two sets that is a minus b never be equal to b minus a okay if they are equal sets a minus b and b minus a are disjoint sets the venn diagram for this a minus b a set belongs to like this and you have to remove this b b common elements from this only you, you just write the a elements venn diagram for b minus a you have to remove this a part then how many elements you have remained in the b you just write that only okay these are the formulas for the cardinal numbers that is n of a union b is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b a and b are disjoint sets then just take out from this so n of a union b is equal to n of a plus n of b if you have three sets n of if you have two sets this formula you can use by using of this to find out the cardinal numbers of this final sets so if you have three sets then n of a union b union c is equal to n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c okay here we have the uh, introduction part of the sets so students uh, today i explained all the introduction part of this sets chapter from tomorrow uh, i'll explain the sums which is belongs to your textbook that is one two second chapter no that is 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 i'll explain from tomorrow onwards okay thank you